happening today for your education at Sage Montessori Charter School, making sure they are achieving at high levels, both academically and artistically. Joining, joining us now is kindergarten teacher Lawan and also Loretta, who is the operations manager. Hey. Good morning. Good so, morning. Um, Montessori, we hear the term a lot um, thrown around. What exactly is a Montessori education? A Montessori education, you're going to be looking at a few things here when you are talking about a Montessori education. You are wanting to make sure that the classroom environment matches the materials. You want to make sure that the teacher is acting more of a guide to the students. And you want to make sure that there is a multi-age group setting and also a care for the community within the classroom and for the school as well. So why? So if that's the, the, the way that the, the teaching is, is gone or the class yes. is set up. Why look for a Montessori education? Who would be interested in a Montessori education? Well, I think that um, any child can succeed in a Montessori classroom. That's one of the unique things about Montessori education is that uh, Montessori education adapts for the needs of each child. So it, it, any temperament, any um, learning strengths or any learning needs um, are met there. So it's very flexible. Yeah, and so are kids that are in traditional public schools able to transfer into Montessori schools and, and like seamlessly move into a different way of yes, learning? Yes, very much. Um, we happen to be a public Montessori charter school. Okay, what does that mean, a public Montessori charter that school? That means that it's free. There okay. is no tuition, okay. um, just like a public school. Mm -hmm. um, there are no boundaries, so a, a parent, no matter where you live in the city, um, you can attend Sage Montessori. Okay. And it also means that we are governed by the same regulations that a public school is. So we have to make sure that the children learn um, certain standards okay. and that they are tested every year, usually three times a year. So they are held to the same standards that a public school would. And that, therefore, p parents can be assured that if they are transferring into Sage, they will get the same education. And if they're transferring out of SAGE to a public school, they'll be on the same level as other children in that school. Okay, so, so it's not like there's going to be, you're teaching something totally different. Right. It Correct. is all still right. the same standard Montessori, education. It's just the style? It's the approach. Exactly. It's yeah. more so the philosophy. You're giving the kids a foundation of learning is what you're giving them by putting them in a Montessori environment. Confidence and independence is what Montessori is about. And do you know when the Montessori kind of educational system started? Early 1900s. Yes. Very, really? Yes. So and it's it been started, around for that yes. long. Right. It yes. started across seas first, um, but it's come to America for many years now. But still, it's newer to New Mexico, but it's great. I know we're biased, but it's, it's an amazing <laughs> school. It's okay to be biased towards yourself. It's, yes. it's all right. Now, if um, people wanted some information on how to attend uh, Sage Montessori, where do they need to go? We have a website that you can go to, that is sagemontessori.org. Our phone number is also 344-7447, and we are located at 3831 Midway Place. We are located right in the middle of Jefferson and Singer, so it's really convenient for all of our other business working parents, so that is a very we have a great location, yeah. Business-oriented area. Is. Now, um, can students transfer in right now? Do they have to wait till the beginning of the school year? What is the application process? So we're currently accepting students right now, actually, okay. yes. We moved locations, so our building is bigger, so we're still accepting students, which is a great thing. But um, normally there is a waiting list sometimes because we're a charter school. Um, we're a great school, so it fills up fast, but we're currently accepting. Okay, so to get on the waiting list, do you have to um, sign up with you guys? Do you have to sign up through APS? How do you how do you get on the waiting list? There's an application and it's online, but okay. then we also have it in the school as well. So you guys can go to our website or you can come into the school and we can help you out with that. Great. Well, thank you guys yeah. so much for being here this morning. What Thanks is your website once again to get that information on applications? It's sagemontessori.org. Great. If you want to find out more about a new school for your kids, either go to sagemontessori.org or go to foxnewmexico.com.